what's up guys i assume by now you have a basic idea of the structure of c code and know how to print strings on this uh, on the in the output so let's now move ahead in your lower class maths you might have studied about variables and used it so you might be using something like this x is equal to 5 y is equal to 1 and you are finding out x plus y or x minus y and so on the same thing can be replicated in our uh, c c code we uh, also have the, this variable concept in c language so uh, basically uh, these x or y or any na any name as such are known as identifiers as a identifier variable okay so there are certain rules for writing a variable name as in you can have a variable li name like hello it's not compulsory to have a single character as a variable it could be hello it could be hi it can be it can be a word okay so i brief out uh, certain rules for a very for identifiers uh, the identifiers must always start with the lowercase character. You cannot have a variable name like H E L L O which with H capital caps in caps. Okay. Also, there there should be no blank spaces in a variable name. As in, you can't have a variable name like hello space hi. Blank spaces are not allowed. Also. Uh, no punch also punctuation marks are also not allowed as in uh, you can't have a variable name like hey what's up this can't be a variable name because there is a comma in between similarly full stops or uh, inverted codes and all, all such punctuation marks are not allowed in variable names also oh yeah underscores are allowed as in you can have a variable name like a and a underscore b or hey underscore hello also c++ is a case sensitive language that means a variable name like he llo and he cap capital l capital l and caps o are different so these two variable names are different uh, so C plus uh, C is a K, uh, case sensitive language. Also, yeah, uh, C has defined a set of reserved keywords as in uh, int, int, and, or, using, if, else. All such all these words are reserved by C plus plus or uh, C or C plus plus both. So you can't use these variables as you can't use these names as your variable names. So if you use them, uh, be ready to see an error. Okay, and yeah, these are the basic rules for variable na uh, variable names. Okay, so suppose I have a variable like x. So x is equal. Suppose I have x is equal to five, or x is equal to 4.5 or x is any character x is any character assume it's c so how will the compiler know what x is so you must tell explicitly what uh, uh, what is x as in it's an integer or it's a floating point number or it's a character and so on so for that we have defined uh, data types okay what data types is it's basically something which defines the variable it tells something more about the variable so data types okay I'll just move this up okay uh, C supports four types of data the first one is integer in okay integer type uh, second one is character third one is floating point 
or floating type okay okay so now let's start with the integer type you might be uh, knowing what an integer is as in uh, where there is no decimal point okay integer first one integer type okay so 5 4 is an integer 5 five is an integer and so on 6 uh, there are f uh, this is further bifurcated into four parts as in you have int wait sh okay you have short the second one is int third is long and fourth one is long long okay so now let's bifurcate between these four that short long 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 and int okay uh, when you define a variable as short only two bytes of memory is allotted to that variable for int it is 2 to 4 bytes for long it's 4 bytes and long long I suppose it's 8 uh, you can find it I'm not sure about long long okay so basically short is used for storing smaller integer values as in suppose you have a integer value like 89 you can store it as short int long and long long but a big integer uh, but if you have a a big integer as in suppose 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 5 so you can uh, save it as an int but you can't save it as short it 10 raised to 5 can be stored in an int long or long long if you have a much bigger value suppose like 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 9 or so you can save it as long you can save it as long long but short and int cannot be used in this case so depending on the size of the integer value you are going to assign in your program you, you have to define the variable type okay so the next one is character character okay uh, for ca as in as i said in short only two or uh, two bytes of memory are allotted for a character only single byte of memory is allotted so okay how it is defined okay it's set it's just car c h a r car it is defined as car okay character can be any uh it can be a lowercase character or a higher uh okay capital character okay so it can be a small c a cap c or small n caps capital M and so on it's just a single character for defining it we use a data type car the third one is oh, I'll just move this on F floating type okay it has two types in it that is uh, float and double so what's the difference between a float and a double okay for float 4 bytes are assigned and for double 8 bytes are assigned okay for suppose you have a num decimal a num point number like 0 0.123 it can be stored as a float as well as it is can be stored as a double but if you have a number with higher precision value like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 something of this sort so you need to store it as a double uh, so there's a limit on the precision which is carried by float and a double so if you need higher precision it is preferable that you use a uh, double okay so yeah these are the three basic data types now let's move on and find how to initialize the variables suppose I have I want an integer and its value should be equal to 10 okay so how to define I'll write okay for okay before that I'll write the basic syntax its data type space variable name okay variable name is equal to value this is one way of defining a, a variable the second way would be this is single line declaration okay the second is 
data type space variable name and in the second line you can have or anywhere in the code after this line variable name is equal to value okay so now I want an integer and its value to be 10 so I'll write variable data type data type is int int x is a variable name is equal to 10 or I'll write int x and the next line x is equal to 10 okay suppose I want a character a uh, variable and should be equal to the character w so I'll write char c is equal to in single quotes always characters are defined in single quotes w and inverted comma similarly you can do for floating point numbers okay so uh, let's now try it out in our uh, IDE it's quite simple actually we'll create a new file I'll write my basic structure which I always follow okay so what are we going to do in this uh, program I'll write it out here firstly I want a variable a to be an integer so a is an integer secondly I want B should be a floating point number floating point okay I want C to be a character and D again to be an integer okay so now let's start with a uh, you might have understood this uh, everything which follows double slashes double forward slash is treated as a comment so this part won't be considered by our IDE okay so now I want a to be an integer so I'll define int a is equal to suppose 10 okay so now just let's move on and print a so we'll use a printf function which is defined in the standard input output that is stdio.h header file okay printf okay so here's a basic syntax for displaying an integer you need to write this in double quotes percentage d actually d stands for this uh, decimal number okay so percentage d and comma then the variable name that is a so how does this work uh, yeah we'll save this file I'll name this file as uh, variables okay this source code I'll, this source code I'll provide you in the description section so you can see from there also uh, okay so printf function it was basically used for printing a string right so this is our string part so what does this does it replaces this part percentage d with the this variable a contents of the variable a it's as simple as that so let's see what we get compile and run yes we are getting a as 10 okay so suppose i i wanted to write a is equal to 10 as in not just 10 a is equal to 10 so I'll I can write here a is equal to and let's see if I get the result compile and run yes we are getting it as a is equal to 10 okay now suppose I want the value of a be 20 I need to change this value so what should I write here should I write again int a is equal to 20 or uh, directly a is equal to 20 as I've already defined a what a is so I don't need to redefine it so I'll just write a is equal to 20 so it would just uh, replace the value 10 by 20 I'll print two statements here a before and a after I'll copy this this is a before a before is equal to and a after is equal to fine 
okay what should we get a before should be equal to 10 and a after should be equal to 20 okay yes we are getting this result now suppose I want it in separate lines I'll have a back black backslash in here backslash in and here also I'll just put a backslash in I told you in the last like uh, tutorial backslash in for, is for new line it just uh, moves your cursor to the next line okay we are getting that great okay our next requirement is B should be a floating point number so we'll have here float B is equal to 0 0.213 fine now for printing a floating point number I'll show you here printf in double quotes I'll write percentage F so before that I'll write B is equal to and percentage F as we had here percentage D for an integer we for float we have percentage F and comma B the same syntax just the same okay we are getting at B is equal to 0 0.213 and we are getting three zeros uh, you can see here that float has a precision of six uh, digits after the decimal point so that's why it's showing here 0 0.213 and then triple zero which is same at 0 0.213 now next we have a character so I'll write char c is equal to any character suppose w okay now for printing a character I need to replace the percentage d or percentage f with percentage c okay so I'll write here c is equal to percentage c comma c it's quite simple compile and run uh -uh. okay yeah it's showing expected semicolon before return so before return here we didn't put a semicolon okay in a uh, programming part or not uh, it's important to understand what the error is because you might face many errors so it's a good practice that you read the errors and keep it in your mind so yeah let's now see yeah we are getting as c is equal to w i'll just put a new line character backslash in here backslash in yep so that everyone everything comes on a new line let's again compile and see mm, yeah you are getting this okay so now suppose I want D to be an integer and which should be equal to the integer a so one way of doing is to write int D is equal to 20 again but suppose I was working in a program at, and I didn't know the value of a so but I want d should be equal to a so I'll write in this manner in d is equal to a so what it does it assigns the value a to the variable d the value of variable a to the variable the variable d okay I'll print this print f d is equal to percentage d for decimal yeah and comma d fine let's see if we are getting the result yes we are getting d is equal to 20 here a after was 20 so now d is equal to 20 so yeah uh, that's it for this tutorial uh, see you in the next one but do subscribe our channel, like our video and do provide your suggestions for uh, our improvement. Thank you.